Hey, my name is Daniel Blackburn, and I'm an instructor and the owner here at Rogue Valley Drum School. Growing up, music was always very prominent in the household, and I started taking piano lessons when I was about seven years old, and I took lessons for three years. I would say about a year or two in, I was really interested in composing, but that wasn't the main focus of my lessons. We were working more on fundamentals, learning songs that I wasn't that interested in. So my interest started shifting towards the drums. At church in the worship section of the services, I would always be enthralled with the drums. And I was just captivated by the power and presence that they brought. So I asked my dad if I could take drum lessons instead of piano lessons. And at first he actually said, no, <laughs> drums are way too loud. We're, we're not gonna do that. I kept asking him and eventually I wore him down. So he said, if you stick with piano for the rest of the summer, then you can do drum lessons. So I stuck with piano and he agreed to let me start drum lessons. So I started taking lessons from a teacher named Ken Bollinger at Skips Music in Sacramento. And I studied with Ken for about a year until he moved on from teaching. And then I went over to take lessons from Mike Johnston at the Drum Lab for several years. Mike was an amazing teacher and a great role model for who I am now as a teacher. When Mike moved to Folsom to pursue his website, I actually took a break from drums altogether. I sold my drum set and for some reason, I thought that skateboarding was cooler than drums, and clearly I was wrong. It wasn't until my freshman year of high school where drums re-entered my life. My brother showed me a band called A Lot Like Birds, and I listened to their album called Conversation Piece, and it literally changed my life. Listening to that album, I was so impressed by the musicality and the beautifully orchestrated chaos that went on. I found out after looking into the band further that they were a Sacramento band and that the drummer, Joe Arrington, taught at the drum lab. So I started studying with him immediately. And I remember on our first lesson, he told me something that I will never forget. And that was, I can lead a horse to water, but I can't make it drink. And what he meant by that was, I can give you the tools to get good at this instrument, but you have to be the one to put in the work. And that was the first time that it really resonated with me that I need to practice to get better at this instrument. First and foremost, my older brother Drew was a huge influence to me uh, just to play music in general because he was always in bands growing up and he played guitar and sang, and I just thought that was the coolest thing ever. So sometimes I'd get to go to band practice with him and just tap on the drummer's drums and play like. And just being super excited about making sound on, on the drums. Um, so definitely my brother is a huge influence. Uh, early on, I would say Ringo Starr and John Bonham were huge influences, listening to a lot of the Beatles and Led Zeppelin growing up, John Bonham's power and just precision and Ringo Starr's pocket and groove, I was just fell in love with, as, of course, as well as the Beatles music. Specific drumming influences, I would say Benny Greb, his language of drumming DVD and book changed my life. I love his sound and his groove. Uh, Steve Gadd, Steve Jordan, all the Steves, really. <laughs> Jojo Mayer is a huge influence. Mark Juliana, and the list goes on. As a teacher, it's really important for me to inspire and spark the creativity of my students and to help them build a foundation to play in a variety of musical settings. So we do a lot of goal setting early on and uh, we develop a plan on how to achieve those goals. And ultimately, we want to have fun on the instrument. Favorite teaching moment. Uh, my favorite teaching moment was when I was actually recording a drum cover for one of my students, Simon Miller. 
and he did a song called Best of You by the Foo Fighters. And he'd worked so hard on this, this cover and he was so proud of it and so happy. I remember actually tearing up when I was editing the drum cover. So that was a really profound moment for me. Currently I play with several artists. I'm in a band called Nuoro. I play drums for an artist named Amber Del Rosa, which is kind of dark pop music. I play for a band called Stablemate, which will be releasing an album and some singles later this year. A band called I'm a Lion, I'm a Wolf actually brought me up to Oregon, and we put out an album two years ago called And Then It Was Dark. And I have a solo project called Blackburn, and it's kind of indie alternative music. My favorite gigging moment was when I was on tour with I'm a Lion, I'm a Wolf after we put out our record and then it was dark. And we were playing at Holy Diver in Sacramento. And I think it was the fourth show of the tour and it just felt really good. We had a great crowd response and I felt like the band was just really locked in and we all had a lot of fun. As far as gear goes, I, I am a Barton Drumco artist, and honestly, these are my favorite drums. They sound incredible, they're super easy to tune, and that's why we sell them at Rogue Valley Drum School. As far as cymbals go, I prefer Istanbul Gop and Zildjian cymbals, specifically Zildjian Ks, and whatever the music calls for. I like Big Firth Sticks and DW and Tama Hardware. For any new drummers, I would say practice your timing a lot. Get really comfortable with and without a metronome. And focus on your feel. You don't want to sound like a drum machine unless you're trying to sound like a drum machine. You want to have a human element to it. Listen to your influences and try to copy them. And then when you practice sounding like enough different people, eventually, you will sound like yourself and you'll become a culmination of your influences. The last piece of advice I have for new drummers is be as professional as possible. When you have a gig, get there early. Early is on time. Show up over prepared. Never show up and be learning the songs, you know, on the way to the gig or at the gig. You just, you don't be that guy. <laughs> I started Rogue Valley Drum School honestly out of necessity. When I moved up to Oregon from Sacramento, there was nowhere for me to teach really. And so I started a business called Blackburn Drum Lessons with the dream of eventually making it into a full drum school with other instructors. And eventually with a lot of hard work, it's become just that. I believe we have an amazing community of instructors and students and we have a ton planned for this year for future band programs and just musical opportunities to provide for our students. Music